welcome to Beer Tuber Palooza 2022. It's like two and two. It's like Chuck Willary in the dating game. Beer two tuber, and two. Tuber, 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 Palooza. Palooza. We're going to be doing a mystery beer courtesy our boy Jesse from Bumpy Road. Um, Bruce. He, he, look, 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 if this is not a Scotch Ale, I'm going to be very, very upset. <laughs> He's um, throwing us off. Yeah, so he, uh, he brought a mystery beer that he wanted uh, us three to do. So we're going to do that right now. Uh, Kyle, could you do the honors? Yes. Of mystery beers, for those that don't know, are beers basically we have no idea. What Who done it? And then, and then bit of Kyle house. doesn't have anything. Look at that. Ooh, yes, ooh. I just call mystery beers. Because it's a mystery. It kind of looks like it's... Is that your doo doo jabs? No doo doo jabs. No, not scotch ale. Uh, okay. Like, I can only <laughs> handle a little bit. Not copper coin. You're talking about a shilling, maybe. Something like that. Something along those lines. It could be a what? A sour? It could be a barley wine? It could be a dunkle? You know what this could be? A dunkle! An, an alt beer. I'm gonna fucking leave it. I'm just gonna walk <laughs> off. No, it definitely looks the part of a malt for it. Yeah, it definitely. It could, it could even be a West Coast IPA for all. Definitely had the little. Look at the look at the oh, very fine sediment, Daddy. Oh, you have the, 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 the bits and pieces gonna they're gonna get you. Rick Flair, <laughs> leather strap match. But no, all, all, it, honestly, if I'm from a distance, force force the iced tea. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Yeah, no, for, yeah, yeah, it, it definitely. looks exactly like ice. Yeah, yeah, it does. Even with the black yeah, ice, that's just, just <laughs> icy. Yeah, a lot of like, yeah, suspended particulates. That's interesting. Yeah. Giving them the huff. What the fuck is that? It's, it's like a, it's a high, it's like a barley wine. It's a high ABV malt beer. I'm getting like beer. caramel apples. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it's what I, yeah, yes. yeah, but that's yeah, what, yeah. where I'm leaning. That, yeah. that it's coming from a malt, <laughs> a sugar daddy malt, like yeah. caramel, like yeah. barley wine. Thing. It's now, real, it could be, it real could big on like a, I'm going to get green apple a little bit. Yeah. A little, little tartness. But then like brown sugar too. A little bit of alcohol. Oh yeah, definitely alcohol. This is, this is a, this is a big, this is a big booth at daddy. No, you're right. There. There's, there's a little, like, a, green, a little green apple. Yeah. To me, it's like almost like green tea. Yeah, it's like, oh, it has like a very earthy herbaceous type of thing yeah, that you don't like expect as school, much. Like fuggly, um, Kent Goldingy, hoppy kind of thingy. Dude, this smells like legit. I just put my nose in a fucking bag of brown sugar. Like that's what I'm getting, <laughs> and I'm all about it. But like, it really does. It smells weird. Man. So I, uh, based off nose, I'm guessing it's something probably sh just short of ten percent. So an eight percent, like malt forward English, English hop leaning. That's that's my my guess. You think it's higher ABV? Oh, I'm saying yeah. around ten. I was gonna say like ten and a half. But if it's super but not, but not sweet, too, too but if it's super sweet, it's under attenuated, so it's probably not like that high ABV. It's just sweet. You know what I mean? I literally smell like I fuck, like I, I'm making fucking What's candy that? yams with brown sugar. Cheers. 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 Great. Cheers. Ooh, candy jams. I like that. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks, Jesse. Wherever he is. Yeah. Big thumbs up. It was awesome. It does. It has that apple taste. Yeah, dude. It's just like this. Just sounds weird to me. This, I, I, there's not brown sugar in here. There's not brown sugar in here. Clearly, but I'm getting such a heavy dose of like legit brown sugar that it's almost like candied sugar, Belgian candy sugar, just brown sugar, but with that apple. Mm. It's like so you made apple pie but forgot the cinnamon. Yes. Yeah. Pretty much like the the apple crumble. Yeah. Yeah. That's like a good that. one. Yeah. I have no fucking, like, I, I don't think I've ever had brown sugar to this extent. It's something... A little I, medicinal I, I, cherry, apple. though. The velvet thing you told me is really interesting. I'm not really getting, a, like, a big, like, Belgian yeast. Though. I don't know. No, no, I, I do no think, it's not the Belgian thing, it's the candy sugar thing. I, 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 it, I think, yeah, it's in the barley wine... Maybe it's someone's old ale, but yeah, I don't get a Belgian yeast to think it's, like, a quad or something. <laughs> Because um, there is, even though it's really sweet, yeah, it kind of has this little yeah, subtle dry finish thing. Like it, it, like it starts to dry out. Yeah. Bit. So it's not, it's not just. You, it is sweet. It's not overly sweet. Yeah, I, I think it. No, it's sweet. Yeah, but it I don't reminds think, me. Of, it, it's a tea bag. It reminds me of a tea bag and baby with a Belgian brown with that had baby for the barley. I don't think it's like cloying to me. It's no. not cloying because there's. That dryness. Yeah, yeah, but the, with that dryness is a, I don't want to call it an off taste, but there's a... It's weird. No, yeah, that, it's weird. No, that, that, that thing is, is oh, an off taste. Yeah, yeah. Really 
<laughs> but yeah, but this is an addition that to the is. apple. I get there's something. Because it's not. Do I like it? Why I think it's gonna be. A, uh, Sorry, I really like the brown sugar. Right. <laughs> that's, that's like a. Like no, they're fatty elements. like cake. <laughs> this guy likes oh, all the fucking cake. Like, no, I'm there's, there, there's no hard like I'm fat. I'll tell you I'm fat and I like cake. There's no wrong. Um, but no, it's it's just that. Yeah, I just I brown sugar. It it, it has all the elements of, and that's why when you said the Belgian candy sugar, it has all the elements of someone doing a Belgian dark, Belgian gold, and Belgian brown, Belgian quad, but it didn't land. Like they didn't use Belgian yeast. No, it just, <laughs> no, 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 it make just didn't beer. land. It just didn't land. Like it's like all the ingredients that come together. You know what I mean? Like, because it has a, it, it, it has a dry Belgian, not fruity, not you know Belgian yeast, but there is elements of that there with the dryness. And there is an English hopping. There's a, there's a Kent Golding fuggly hopping that that's what they used in the, the, the Trappist beers and stuff like that. What do you think of ABV? Uh, what do I think the ABV is versus what actually is on the What's bottle? The um, I think the bottle says it's ten percent, but it's probably close to eight. Yeah, I don't think it's as, as big as I thought it was. It's kind of what do you think it is? Do you want to go there? Or I'll go nine seven. No, do you want to you want to name the beer? No, well yeah. On the bottle, the I think it's nine. Guess what? I'm gonna say nine seven. What, what the style and what the beer is? I fucking stylistically. Uh, I have no idea. This is like fucking weird. I don't think I've ever tasted anything it's, like quite like this, honestly. It drinks like a barley wine in a Belgian quad had a baby. Yes. And maybe they smoked during the pregnancy. <laughs> that might. Do we just go with that and lock that in and just steal his? Just like lock it in for holes? I know what it is. All right. What is it? It's Bumpy's Homebrew. Is it? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. If it's his homebrew. Oh, wait. Is that, this sorry. is fucking gross. <laughs> <laughs> wait, so are we. No, I, I really like the brown yeah, sugar. And, and maybe some age. I didn't really. It. We didn't really. We didn't. We didn't get. I'm it's. 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 We get. Sugar Moon Rum Barrel oh. Maple Scotch Ale. It was a Scotch Ale. That yeah. brown sugar from the Scotch space, or even that maple. Wow, what's the ABV? Man, that's super sweet. <laughs> uh, so you did do it on purpose with the flannel. <laughs> oh, so it wasn't on purpose. That was a joke. That, that made me that not want to call it a scotch gel, but it's not a scotch gel. This it tastes, has a shilling like literally like nothing on the fucking label. All right. Like I just brown sugar. Just give me brown sugar. Scotch gel, brown sugar. Brewed with maple syrup, candied cap, mushrooms, and aged in rum barrels. A base of sweet no, caramel and toffee flavors with layered notes of maple syrup, figs, spices. It's the brown sugar. Yeah, it's fucking, I like the brown sugar. The rest of it. No, I feel the beaties coming on. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Like I'm getting, uh, I'm getting hot, hot, hot in the back of my neck. Thanks for ruining my night there, Jesse. You dick. Now that was interesting. It is ten percent. If anyone wants to look at it, it's not ten percent. The uh, I'm reading what the bottle says. No, it is. They're saying ten percent. Um, yeah, I, I said ten percent. So, it's so, it's like what are we gonna pull? Paul, circa 2014. All the like us trolling them off camera. Let's open a, a, a Yingling and call it Wild Ale. That was, when he that, that was when I saw him too, and he's like, yeah, it. dude, he was so pissed, it was great. <laughs> um, yeah, Paul, for me, he heard his, uh, Joe sent him some mystery beers, and he sent him a Yingling lager, and he called it a Wild Ale. <laughs> It was fucking great. Thanks, Bumpy. Yeah, that yeah, was fun. Yeah, it was thanks, fun. Thanks, Bumpy. Real cool. Um, that was interesting in the way that I don't like it. <laughs> I like the brown. But here's the thing: it could have been awesome. Like, there's the roots of awesomeness inside. The, that brown sugar character is fucking fantastic. The rest of it, fuck it, mostly. <laughs> Is there any age on this? Would you say brown you know, rum that you drink? It's been around for probably nine months or something. But is there rum barrel age or do they actually put rum in it? I don't know. 
I don't know. I like the brown sugar yeah, that exactly. doesn't exist, but it's the maple okay. and the and, and so the base and it's uh, Hobbs Brewing and then Sugar Moon. What's the brew? Hobbs. H O B B S. Hobbs. It was interesting. Hobbs. Isn't that guy that rapes Andy Dufresne and his fucking fiance? Yeah, we stopped the. We haven't done an uh, outro yet, so I don't know if this is still. No, this is still the video. Oh, okay, okay. So it's going on Pornhub instead. Perfect. So that did YouTube rebrand. <laughs> so make sure you check out Bumpy. Thanks again for the beer. Yeah, thanks, Bumpy. Real cool guy. Huge fan. Big fan. Actually, you know what? I would have loved this if we ate it with the brisket. Good, good, good job, Rib. You know what I mean? Like that nice, smoky, peppery yeah, oh, brisket. Yeah. And then this. Baby, baby, baby. The sugar and no time. Then you're waiting there. Then you're waiting with that brisket. That brisket's fine. It's so nice. Hot times. Hot times. Hot times. Hot brisket and shitty beer, baby. <laughs> oh my god. I love how, uh, side note, I love how this place advertised having a fireplace that's unusable. Like, we have a fireplace. Someone Not like, that you can put it in Someone's anything. gonna sleep yeah. in the hole. Yeah, and just yeah. like, no. We have weird alien uh, no, artifacts. It was, thanks though, Jesse. It was fun. Yeah. Yeah. It was alright until it wasn't. It threw you all off.